So we had an ice storm yesterday and uh, you can see all the ice on my pine tree over here. We got a broken branch over there and super cold weather. You can see all these trees over here with the, get a closer view of the, see the eyes on the branch. And there you go, that's Melina. Melina, hey, say hi. Hey, give me, give me a shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, there you go, good girl, okay. And let's take a look at the lofts. Same thing with the lofts too. Look at all these lofts. They got eyes everywhere. Yeah. So, uh, we lost power yesterday for, I would say, a few times for like, you know, less than a minute. It came back and here's one more. I can even, you know, this is one of my Roro kit boxes. And they have a small door over here for them to come out and I think it's so frozen that I might need to use a small flatted screwdriver or something to open that door, it's frozen. But uh, it's crazy. You heard about a snowstorm and this is an ice storm. So let's go in here and see. And look, there's all like these ice crystals I can like, look, they break, they break down. To be wearing gloves because my hands are frozen now. And what about the birds? People ask me this question. What about the birds? Hey, that's what you call tough creatures. They're fine. Only thing I do is like the water freezes so fast. I have these small, small of these, what do you call it? Some people use them to put grit. I use those balls to put some water in there. So they can drink fast and like they all are eating those crystals i guess it's just like us eating ice a lot of people like to eat ice they're doing the same thing except uh, on these guys there's a lot of uh, salt in it so they got a special taste too Ice storm. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have plenty of branches and all broken from the trees, and there might be some areas with no power. But uh, I'll take you one by one to each of my long to see how everybody's doing. Full of ice. There's not too many people want to come out, it's too cold. Uh, we got two old and homers over here. Young and the old. the water some of the, some of the water spilled that's why it's all looks like wet over there but, um, yeah. my other loft where I got this uh, this a uh, great wine I grow on the side of the cloth and it climbs on my flight and
watch your step when you walk like this. One wrong step and you can lay on the ground hurt. So, there you go. Look at all of these things. I hope this uh, melts away fast. Too. Almost look like some kind of chandelier, but that is what you call the after effects of an ice storm. We rarely get these. We get a lot, of, quite a amount of snow, but uh, we don't get that much. Look at all these things over here. They're like hanging down, just like a chandelier. Look, that's a perfect example of a chandelier. We get a. We get snow, but we we don't get ice storm that often. But uh, hey, it happens, and here is it. it. But I'll just show you guys a quick video and uh, wind it up. You know? to get too close to the birds and so yeah, that is what it is and I just want to do this video because people say like hey you shouldn't leave these birds outside now birds are fine as long as you have food and water for them they don't have no problem so and I don't have no electric no heater nothing I, if you don't have electric then there's no heater I'm, I'm not I don't have no, they just stay inside. Uh, like you see the loft at night, I close the doors. I, all my loft at night, I close their doors and uh, they all go inside. 
and to just I don't want any birds in my fly pen because I'm afraid any raccoon or anything might come and get them so close the doors at night in the morning I'll open the doors everybody come in so that they can get out and relax and uh, they do fine in these conditions I'm gonna go back to the loft again because I think some guys got out outside and maybe I'll gear. There you go. I guess I'm not going inside, I'm just staying outside and give me guys through the through the fly pen. Or a little bit inside. Some, some of the guys have got out. Let's see if we can talk to them. There you go. Here's a pair of my crested uh, saddle home, which is a hen over there, it's a cock bird. A few of them. Just recently made it up these two together. Hopefully they made it up. That's a brown mookie hen over there. And that's another thing about the browns, they bleach in sunlight. Two young almonds from last year. You can see a lot of people ask me, <clears throat> there's a lot of almond. Yeah, almond is one of my favorite colors. So I tend to keep a lot of almonds. I have a hard time getting rid of them. I do sell some from time to time, but uh, so much addicted to that color. At one point, I didn't really care for almond, maybe like 10 years ago. And uh, now I'm a big fan of almonds. I have almonds in pretty much all the breeds I keep. So there's an indigo ball here, Birmingham roller. You might have seen that bird in my comparison of those uh, indigo Andalusian, homozygous Andalusian video. That's, you know, it acted like a cock, but I told that, you know, I was usually, I was using hens in the video and I thought that is a hen. She's actually made it to that uh, ball head, uh, ballless uh, roller cock for right over there. Here's an almond crested former hen. I raised her in uh, 2019. All these guys over here, look there, all, they love, you know, that's one thing about this thing. As soon as these things, this snowstorm or ice storm happens, they all out here munching. I, I even wonder if I need to put water out because they'll be eating this ice so much, they'll get hydrated through that. Here's this one of my beautiful pairs of frostens or red frostens at home. We made it up. It's another almond home of cockbird. Okay, there's a, another almond home of cockbird. He's a, he's split for brown. I'm hoping to create some brown almonds. Here's the pair I said about that rollers, you know. You got the ball head ballless cock foot, and we got that uh, ball head uh, indigo hen over there. So I hope uh, that'd be a good pairing. And there's one of my Egyptian sips. They're so beautiful. I love them. This red frost stencil pair. They're both from last year. They got a. <coughs> There's an extra hen over there. I'll be mating her up too. But, uh, hey, daddies, these are the after effects of an ice storm. And look, that's a, another crester. Red bar home of cockwood over there. Melina gets something. Somebody asked me whether she 
it shoots a lot inside my fly pins. Yeah, she did get inside the fly pin with me, but I don't let her go in there by herself. So you never know. She's a husky. The wolf mentality might kick in and she might try to grab the bird. But when she's with me, she won't mess with my birds. We just leave them alone. It's one of my Andalusians. Look, that's an Andalusian uh, with a bar. Andalusian with a bar. He's made it to a black in there, produced me some nice Andalusian. You can wash these birds all day. But uh, my hands are so freezing, so I need to wind this up. There you go, Melina checking. Come on. Melina, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come here, Mel. Come here. Get him, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get him. Get him. Get him. Look. To answer your question. Look. Melina is officially inside the loft. Checking it out. Let me try to. Okay. Okay. I oh, know. That's a good job, man. What do you think? Check them out. Anything new? The birds kind of know her, so. They don't really get freaked out. So I, I raised Melina as a puppy, so she, I bought her inside the loft as a puppy and all. In the beginning, she has scored some birds and I had to correct her, but she's uh, now also with the training. She's all good to go. You wanna get out? Get out. All right, Melina, thank you. So that answers your Melina question. Some people have asked me about that. Again, another beautiful view of the Crestor Homer Cockwood. I raised him too. He's made it to a brown crested hen. <coughs> you can see in the other log there's a home uh, there you go, there's a homozygous uh, Andalusian cockboard in the other loft. Roller, ball head roller. <coughs> and there is a there's him straight over there and there's a homozygous hen over there to ball head hen but uh anyhow time to wrap it up i hope you all stay safe and i hope you all didn't get any kind of ice storm but these are the after effects of an ice storm and uh Have a good one.